head to a uh, uh, what I imagine will be a very, very tough environment uh, for a number of reasons. Um, Ole Miss is playing really well. Um, they're undefeated at home. Uh, I guess Auburn and Ole Miss are uh, two of the two of only 14 power six teams that are undefeated. Um, and I remember congratulating uh, Coach Beard before we played. Um, uh, they came in here nationally ranked, and I, I, I said it took me a bunch of years to to get here. It took you half a year, um, but that's what we both work for is to get our programs where we could play the game where both teams were ranked. It had never happened before, uh, and I congratulated Coach Beard on that accomplishment. Um, and then we proceeded to play our best game of the year, uh, and I knew it when it was going on, and I knew it right afterwards. And, um, we just couldn't play any better, and um, and and as a result, we we had a dominating uh, effort. Um, Ole Miss did not play great, uh, so they contributed a little bit to it. But um, I know as soon as they walked off that court, and there was some, I just know that um, we'll see in we'll see in Oxford in a couple weeks. You know. Um, as they should feel that way. And so here we are. Um, it'll be another sellout, back-to-back uh, -back road game sellout. And uh, when you do play somebody for a second time, and this is now the second time we'll be doing that after having played Vanderbilt twice, you do look a little bit at you know, how the first game went. And um, you know, obviously, we would do things in that game that we thought would be successful, and they were. And so, Play a lot of your cards, you know, and uh, we played a really we played a really good hand. So the question is going to be, what adjustments do we make? What adjustments can we anticipate they're going to make? Um, and um, you know, it should be a great, great, great contest. Um, before I take questions, I wanted to start off by congratulating Janai Broom. Um, it just was announced that he's a final ten of the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Center of the Year Award. Um, he is still in the top 20 uh, for the Wooden Player of the Year uh, finalist. Um, uh, Walker Kessler had made the final five of that Center of the Year Award a couple years ago, uh, and Jabari made the final five of the Player of the Year Award. So we haven't had anybody since, and I'm not, so sh I'm not sure that I've had anybody else other than those three guys that have been recognized like that. So Janai Broom jo joins uh, Walker Kessler and, and Jabari Smith in some very exclusive company. And so congratulations to Janai and, and his family and, uh, and to our team for putting one of their teammates, helping one of their teammates in that position. Chris, speaking of Janai, he's averaging something like 16 and eight with a few blocks. And the thing about him, it seems like he does that pretty much every night. He's super consistent. And if you had a big man who could do that like every single night, you knew what you were going to get from him. And how impressive is it that, that he gives you all that pretty much every game? I think I think Janai's turned it up in SEC play. Um, and it's great to see that, that, that ability. Um, and uh, you know, I thought he turned it up towards the end of last season. Uh, I think he turned it up uh, at the G League Combine to get himself invited to the NBA Combine. So um, he has the ability to, to turn it up, um, which I think is great in, in March. Um, and that's kind of what you're hoping for from a couple of other players at this time of the year is, is all right, now, who can, who can turn it up a notch? And, and so Jana has. Um, we've got 10 regular season games to go, plus postseason, hopefully. And, uh, um, and, and you know, it, it's, it's great, great to see. Um, to, to think that doesn't take, you know, some level of commitment and effort, and I'm not trying to jinx his free throw percentage, um, because I'm doing it in advance of the game or whatever. But look, he's shooting in the mid-80s, I think, from the free throw line in SEC play. What does that tell you 
about his his focus, his concentration, and his effort. Um, and so, he's in a good place. Now that that all said, you know this will be you know as challenging a ten game stretch as as Auburn basketball has had. We I, I hadn't looked back last year, and I probably should, although it it won't delight me very much. But I know last year we had a really hard stretch at the end of the, at the end of the last year too. Because I remember we kind of closed with we closed with it was game after game, including the last two against Alabama at Alabama and then Tennessee at home. So it was go back and take a look at how challenging that was. I was going to ask you just how big would getting this road win over a quad one team just be for the confidence of the team, just sort of getting over a hump? Maybe you've been so close in some of those. Is there anything to say about just kind of getting over the hump here? You know, I would say this, that, that um, look, they've not lost at home, um, and they've beaten really good teams at home. Um, I look at this opportunity as more of, all right, if we want to win the league, and think we have a chance to win the league because we have a chance to be between one and about eight or nine as we sit right now. That's about where we could be. Um, then you got to start thinking about getting a game like this one. Um, okay. I, I don't know how much it affects our confidence. Um, we know the things that we have to do on the road. Um, we got to take care of the ball. We got to make shots, shoot it better. Obviously, we've, we've not shot the ball from three, particularly uh, on the road at, at, as well. Um, and you know, we we got to continue to improve our rebounding. We do those things, and we give ourselves a chance. We don't improve in those areas, and then we uh, will continue to beat really good teams on the road. We went four and six in our last ten last year. So what now? We went four and six in our last ten last year. Yeah, so last last year. We were at Tennessee, at A and M, at Vanderbilt, at Kentucky, at Alabama, Tennessee at home. Yeah, tough. Uh, three in a row for them since since losing in here. I guess anything you've noticed or scouting them the first time around versus this time? Any improvements you noticed from this team? Well, I think that uh, I think Murray, the point guard, has played brilliantly. Uh, and uh, you know we we uh, we understood how important he was to them when he came in. He's averaging over three makes from three a game. Uh, his assist turnover ratio is six one at home. Uh, they scored twenty nine more points at home than they do on the road. Uh, uh, you know they just got. Uh, I mean, like us, they play better at home, but the, the, some of the some of the numbers are staggering. Morell averages like like 21 at home and 10 on the road, which is 11 points better on the road. Those are significant, significant stats. In the Vandy game, uh, Jalen and Chad combined for eight assists with just one turnover. You talk about your playmakers stepping up. It's been a lot of attention on point guards, obviously, but how much better does this make this offense when you have your second year guys creating and, and, and you know, Finding the offense uh, for, for their teammates. Yeah, it's um, you know, not all of our offense goes through our, our point guards. Um, Jedi Broom had four assists, um, and and Jim Williams had four assists, and you're saying that Chad Baker had four as well. Had four. Said those three guys, if that's, um, and so um, your best defenders. Uh, typically on the perimeter are going to be the guards. And so all of our guards are challenged to either play make or make shots or um, and you think that the guards are always the one that you put in that action to certainly on the break your point guards are involved in a break with having responsibility there and setting your offense. But within the framework of the offense sometimes your your three in this case my three, four, and five um, had advantage us uh, on the floor against Vanderbilt. Um, I thought with Ty Lawrence and Mion, um, our ones and twos would be greatly challenged because those are their, those are Vanderbilt's two best players. Um, 
Denver um, obviously uh, had a great game offensively, um, and he continues to play well defensively. So um, that was extremely positive. have a sense that somebody's going to pick them up, you know, they'll, they'll figure it out. But defense, everybody's got to be locked in, you know, and, and, and that's what wins championship. Do you feel that kind of mindset from your team, just everybody being locked in on that end of the floor? How much do you think that can carry y'all, especially with these road games? Are you right? saying that, that Janai indicated that we are we are locked in defensively? Yeah, he, he was saying, you know, focused on that more because they know, you know, that's what's going to get them games win championships. I mean, it's, it's, it's one of the things you can control. Um, you can't really control how well you shoot it. Um, and uh, typically you do score less on the road. So the one thing that you can hold hold firm on is um, is defending. Defense and rebounding win championships. And, um, and so I do feel like we've got uh, a good, uh, we've got really sound defensive concepts and the guys have executed them really, really pretty well. Uh, perhaps better than I would have expected. Um, the um, um, it's just something that allows you to be in every game if you can be in every game. It's it's one of the things you can control, um, and so that's certainly what we focus on. Um, we probably spend seventy-five to eighty percent of our scout um, and our preparation on how to defend, and uh, so. Um, and yet, yesterday uh, in practice, we actually spent more time on our offense, on our offense, uh, just simply because um, the you know, offenses are going to be challenged, uh, particularly in a road. Uh, I was some very some, Ole Miss is obviously playing great right now, and uh, never, never thought that they'd put up what they put up against Mississippi State, eighty six or eighty four. Um, man. It's hard to put 84 in Mississippi State, and they did it. Huh? It was 86. 86. Yeah. It's hard to put that number up against Mississippi State. And if you look at the numbers they put up at home, big, big, big numbers. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.